Hey there, Greeny for Greenbox here and in today's video we are going to unbox and take a first look at an accessory which allows you to take better 360 degree photos with your smartphone. Just after I told you about today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Restream. In fact, we are currently recording this video live using the Restream Live Studio and if you want to learn how we do that and how you can do the same, check out our Restream playlist in the video description down below or use the link right here here on the screen. All right, so uh, this is the thing. This is the accessory which was today in the mail. And I would say, let's move over and unbox it. Let's open it. All right, so this is it and it comes in a wonderful orange color. In fact, it comes in black and orange, but I chose orange because it's, it's less expensive. That's why. And this is a nozzle point adapter, which is meant for your smartphone to remove parallax when you're shooting 360 degree photos. And uh, we're going to unbox this and I think there is some assembly acquired. And from, from what it looks like and also what it feels like, this is just like a 3D print. So uh, a cool thing about this is it doesn't really matter what kind of smartphone you have because when you order it, and by the way, a link to where you can order this is in the video description down below, you have to put in what kind of smartphone you have. So in my case, I use a Pixel 4 XL. So this was made for the Pixel 4 XL. And it seems that this is just like a 3D, 3D print which was made after my order went in. So uh, there are no instructions. So I, I hope I hope I'm competent enough to do this on my cell, uh, on my own. So I, I, I would say the only thing we have to do here is we have to assemble this here, right? Okay. So we put this washer in first, then screw this one in. No, like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's assemble this and this should be relatively simple. Just slide in your smartphone. Ooh, ooh, that's a that's a tight fit. Okay, that's why they need to know your smartphone model because yeah, that's that's not going anywhere. That's great. That's great. Okay. So, what this now allows you to do is it allows you to rotate the the camera around its lens. So we, we discussed this in other videos uh, before when we talked about shooting 360 photography. Uh, what you want to have is you want to have your camera rotating around the center of your lens or so-called nodal point to reduce parallax or in this case completely eliminate it. And this should allow us to shoot 360 photos all around without having stitching issues. So let's uh, mount this guy onto a tripod because there is a quarter inch uh, fret. Let's take this tripod here and mount it on top. And the useful thing here is that there is a, a, a level which allows us to level this thing. So I think in this camera, you see it better, right? So we now have uh, this axis which rotates around our lens, as well as when we use a tripod with a with a head, which allows us to rotate, it also allows us to rotate in this axis. And we are basically now ready to take it for a test drive. And with this setup, we now have two ways of shooting 360 panorama photos with our smartphone. The first way is to use an app for that, for example, the Google Street View app, or to just shoot normal photos, which we then import into our computer and then use either PTGUI or Panorama Studios or any other software that allows us to stitch photos in a 360 panoramic sphere. So I just shot about 38 photos with my smartphone using that adapter. And now we're going to take a look on how that thing works when we stitch it with PTGUI. As said, I'm using PTGUI for uh, our quick test here. So let's drop all the photos in there. And uh, let's just go and say a line. Let's see if that is all we need to do. Hey, that actually, <laughs> that actually looks pretty darn good already. Oh, I'm so not used to noise anymore with like the high resolution stuff we do. All right, so first impression, this is not looking bad. So let's do some advanced stuff and try to remove uh, our, our tripod. So let's do that. Let's do some masking. And by the way, 
Uh, if you want to learn how to create those 360 photos, like how to use the software, uh, make sure to check out the video in the info card right now because I did a complete video in which I walked you through my workflow on how to do exactly what we just did here. So let's check out the final result then. And right now we see that we have uh, nothing on the ground because we just removed the tripod. And what we now can do is we can bring in a photo of the ground below the tripod, which I just took and uh, replace it with that. It doesn't look too bad, uh, to be honest. Like if I would have taken that shot with uh, my smartphone uh, handheld freestyle, because there are so many uh, lines close to the camera, probably uh, the thing would be terrible uh, stitching wise. And here, uh, yeah, here and there, there's some some small problems, for example, here with this, with this uh, soft box here, with this Elgato key light there, slight misalignment. Um, this might be due to the fact that I have not taken enough photos, uh, but after all, this uh, adapter for the smartphone actually seems to do an okay-ish job. Like there are no, no heavy misalignments visible which would render this thing unusable. So I am more or less pretty happy with what we have here. Like overall, sure, the fan here is completely messed up. That's because the fan, as you might see, if we switch to this camera, that fan is, is moving. I have not thought about that while I was taking the photo. So that of course is misaligned. And uh, if we would, if we would like spend a little bit more time shooting the photos, making extra sure that we get like each photo right, like that we get enough overlaps, because I think uh, some of the problems we have here with the misalignment of the other Elgato key light is due to the fact that I not have taken enough photos. Also, when we look down with the with the ground, uh, also looks fine. The, the spots we see here uh, seem to be only due to the fact that I have not taken enough photos and I was like rushing this as a, as a first impression test here. But after all, it looks, it looks quite usable. Sure, if I would have to use this on my website or anywhere, I would probably retake it now and make sure that I have enough uh, image information on this side of the table. But I can definitely tell that shooting that photo handheld using a 360 panorama app on the smartphone would have gotten us a worse image, especially because we have those uh, close to the camera vertical uh, beams here, uh, supports, which would uh, amplify parallax like quite a lot. So yeah, first impression of this uh, smartphone Nodal point adapter uh, looks pretty solid. Looks pretty solid. Uh, haven't seen anything right now which would be a big boo. Uh, the only thing I have noticed when I was shooting and I was like at a, an angle, it, it somehow felt the entire thing would not be leveled anymore, even though the level, the level here said I was leveled. So uh, I will have to take a closer look at those things in, uh, in, in the future because I will use this for a while now because I, the idea why I got this is because I needed a more lightweight solution for traveling which would allow me to shoot decent 360 photos when I'm not able to take with me my big tripod with my big setup with my SLR camera. So I will take this with me on some trips uh, till the end of the year and probably somewhere in December or January I will do a review about it and I tell you everything I noticed while using it and tell you if this is something you should just get yourself and put in your backpack in case you ever need it or it's something you don't need at all right now makes a solid solid first impression and i'm pretty sure if i spent a little bit more time in stitching the photos and would be a little bit more careful here for shooting the first few photos i think that the panorama we are looking here at 
would have turned out even better as it already did. Also, yes, this is my studio. Uh, I work here, so please don't judge my mess. D -d that's, that's the mess that's needed in order to be creative and productive, okay? Cool, thanks. So with that said, this video was a live stream and as I said, this video was created using Restream. So if you want to not miss upcoming live streams in which we create such a video, make sure to subscribe. And also if you want to learn how to do such live streams yourself with only a web browser and not the need for any complicated live streaming software, make sure to check out our Restream playlist in which I talk a lot about the Restream key features. And if you want to try it yourself, use the link in the description down below because that link gives you a $10 Restream credit if you sign up for a free Restream account. All right, I am Greeny. This is Greenbox. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everyone in the live stream. Feel free to click the video somewhere here on the end screen and I'll see you in another live stream or another video. So, bye. Bye-bye.